Hi, this is Rob Yates, and this is the video for Classwork 5. Multipliers as a percentage. Alright, question 1 says, A population grows by 15% a year. What is the multiplier? Alright, you might think it is 0.15. When you turn a percentage into a decimal, you divide by 100. But that would just give you the extra amount. So you always want to add 100 to your percentage growth. In this particular case, we would have something like 100 plus 15. And then we turn it into a decimal by dividing by 100. So it would be 1.15. If it helps you, think about dollars and cents. Dollar fifteen. All right, a population shrinks by fifteen percent a year. What is the multiplier? Pretty much the same process. We start with a hundred again. Of course, since we're shrinking, now we're subtracting, and we divide by a hundred again to turn a percentage into a decimal. So it would be point eight five, which is a hundred minus fifteen, of course. This is important, and you will need to know it to get your multipliers for growth and exponential decay. All right, it says here Kevin and Tom are both excited about new job offers that they got when they finished college. They both will earn $50,000 their first year. Kevin's salary will be increased by $5,000 per year, where Tom's will increase by 8% a year. Whose situation is linear and whose is exponential? All right, well, constant growth is linear. In other words, adding a same amount, positive or negative. In this case, positive. It's increasing by 5,000 every year. So Kevin is linear. And 8% means we're going to multiply by 1.08, right? So it's going to be multiplied by a certain amount every year, which means it is exponential. And so Tom is exponential. Next question is tricky. but we can deal with it. It says, write an equation for both men's salaries. All right. I want you to remember that linear equals y equals mx plus b. And that exponential is y equals the starter times the multiplier to the power of x. So Kevin's going to be pretty easy. We wanted to show that after one year, he'll have made $50,000. And we know that it increases by 5000 every year. So effectively, year one, he makes $50,000. But to write our equation, we have to go back to year zero. And to go back to year zero, I have to go back one year from $50,000, which means I have to start at $45,000. So, Kevin is 
y equals, we know it grows by $5,000 a year, so his m is 5000 45000 Now, if you're kind of going like, what, what, why 45000 why not 50000 Think about what would happen if we put a 1 in here for, five, for x. 5000 plus 1, his first year, plus 45000 would equal $50,000, his salary for the first year. Equations, exponential and linear, both need to get their b or their starter point from when x equals 0. And the same holds true for Tom. Tom is exponential, and we have to go back one year from $50,000. We already know that at 8%, he is 100 plus 8 divided by 100, which is 1. 0 0.08. That is Tom's multiplier. What's a starter? Well, we have to take $50,000 and divide it by 0 0.08. And when you do that, what you get is y equals Four six two nine six his starter times one point zero eight to the power of x. All right, why did we go through all this work? It's so we can answer the next two questions. How much money will Kevin make in his sixteenth year in his job? Well, you have to plug in sixteen for x. 5,000 times 16 plus 45,000, zero, zero, zero. what does it equal? Figure it out and write down the answer. How about Tom in his 16th year? Well, Tom's going to be 4, 6, 2, 9, 6 times 1.08 to the power of 16. What does that equal? Plug it into your calculator, figure it out, and write down the answer. All right. Mr. Delaney remodeled his kitchen and bought all new appliances for $6,700. The kitchen appliances decrease in value by about 3% a year, so that's shrinkage. Right? Write an equation that models the value of Dulaney's appliances. Well, first of all, what we want to do is figure out what our multiplier is. It says we're shrinking at 3.2 per year, so it would be 100 minus 3.2 over 100 to equal... Six, eight. That's our multiplier, or our rate of change. All right, our starter, they gave it to us right here. 6,700. And again, y equals... The starter times the multiplier to the power of x. That's the form of an exponential equation. So in Mr. Delaney's case, it would be y equals 6,700 times 0.968 to the power of x.
There it is. How much will the appliance be worth in 12 years when he retires? Well, to figure that out, you have to go y equals 6700 times 0.968 to the power of 12. What does that equal? Write that down and you'll have your last answer. Please remember that uh, there are tutors in the library to help you with math before and after school, many of whom are bilingual. Also, get a hold of your teacher if you still have questions. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.